Hey guys, uh, here I'm going uh, going through the catacombs. Uh, basically on autopilot. As I spoke about in in my previous video, I think um, I suggest doing catacombs every day. Uh, some people don't think they can do it or they should do it. They think okay, um, you get so far and then you get stuck and then you come back when you can continue. But uh, actually, like you, you give, you're given a, a completely free uh, entrance to the catacombs one time every day, and you can use that um, to get these treasure chests. You see, crypt tokens, uh, magic gems, and um, it does get annoying. Uh, let's say running through again uh, through the first 10, 20 levels, but uh, it's worth it because it, it adds up. Um, and and now I can go to I think um, the 25th or 26th level, and by getting there I get something like 65,000 um, experience and and all the crypt tokens um, and and gems, which are both very useful. The gems, as you know, is used for socketing in the blacksmith, and the um, crypt tokens are, are even more useful. <laughs> You can then using the crypt tokens, you can get a lot of uh, special items from the crypt shop. Some people also don't know that there is a crypt shop. <laughs> um, it's very, very well uh, possible because the button is so small, and some people just uh, don't pay too much attention. And so, there is a crypt shop if you open the. the um, uh, if you open the catacombs, there's a crypt shop inside, and it has a lot of very nice items. Uh, it's got those broken items if you want to synthesize equipment. It's also got the the catacomb um, equipment set uh, for higher level, which is uh, also very good. And you can get all that uh, with the crypt tokens. And the crypt tokens you get in the treasure chest if you do the the catacombs. And the crypt tokens, they, they look like um, this here. So here I have 11 crypt tokens. Um, I've spent just uh, recently something like uh, how many? 30, 30, 15. So I've spent 75 crypt tokens and I got myself uh, two purple rings from the crypt shop, uh, which was really cool because my rings were really crappy compared to, to that. Um, and I got myself one of those broken items so I could synthesize uh, one, one of the equipments uh, for me. So yeah, it's, it's very useful and, and as you go you get more and more experience. You see 2400, 2600, 2800, the next one will be 3000 and it, it, it's really quick also and you see I'm not even trying, it's just on, on AFK mode. Um, Every fight is very quick. Uh, even the boss fights here, you're, you're watching the one of the mini bosses. It goes down very quick, and I know where my limit is. Basically, um, I know the so I I know that I die around level 25, 26, and so um, I always say three levels before that, um, three levels before your maximum, uh, take over manual control. Uh, use use a uh, couple of levels to to build up the rage so that you s you go at your here is another treasure chest gem and crypt tokens again um, and yeah so the reason I, s I always say s stop the autopilot um, like uh, just be a couple of uh, levels before your maximum is so that you can use them to build up your rage to the maximum. And so when you get to your dangerous level, uh, you can uh, then unload that rage, uh, and hopefully that that will give you an edge to to pass it rather than starting from scratch. So here I'll start um, not to waste people's time. Uh, I'll, I'll start pausing it maybe, or um, let me think. Yeah, so to just to show you uh, how quick it goes. Uh, in terms of the, how fast the, the equipment, uh, how fast the experience goes. So we're at uh, 3,200 experience now. Here we we finish the next fight, 3,400 experience. 
And uh, I wanted to say that also you don't actually have to uh, You can also do other stuff while you do this Because he is just working on other pilots So you click and just let it go And uh, you do you do other, other, other stuff um, If you have another computer work on that one uh, If you're watching a movie maybe, watch a movie uh, cleaning the room or whatever so you can do other stuff it's not a problem at all um, to run through the, the first uh, bunch of levels and um, and even if he does stupid things it doesn't really matter like you now he just used a special ability on these guys it wasn't necessary but okay it doesn't matter but the experience that, that you are getting like now you see 3600 and it was relatively quick like boom 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 the fight is finished 3600 experience and if you compare that for example to the world boss event in the world boss event um, at my level I get uh, one and a half two thousand at best experience per fight and here I'm getting uh, basically double uh, double that per fight and um, yeah it's not comparable so doing the catacombs is actually more, more reward than doing the world boss event in the of course the world boss event is more dramatic but uh yeah but again here you are also on autopilot in the world boss uh, you also have to be a little bit manual you cannot just let it run um, that is you can let it run but uh, then you don't get the double attacks uh, if you've seen some of my other videos where I explain how to do the double attacks um, they're really useful if you want to get higher rewards and higher damage on the boss basically um, to, to save you time or you can of course go check the videos but um, what you do is like the second your guy um, moves to attack normally then you hit your, your uh, first uh, attack skill and then only with the boss fight it works at least for me uh, then he will uh, he will make the second attack. But if you want to see it done in life, um, check check. I can't remember which world uh, boss fight video that I made. Um, you will find them in in the war tunes playlist that I made where I put all the war tunes um, uh, videos. So here this uh, this boss guy again. Um, it's absolutely no problem to. I'm not even worried about. Um, Leaving it on autopilot, uh, no danger whatsoever, and um, he's gonna go down. So, and and now it's already getting like the last fight. I don't know if you saw, but uh, I got three thousand eight hundred experience for one fight, um, and and that's a lot. I mean, com if you compare to other gains, I mean, you have to do, for example, if you do an entire campaign, you get like three and a half thousand. And here you get it in one fight. So it's definitely, I think, worth like uh, restarting the catacombs every day, and even as a priority to many other events. Here, four thousand and another treasure chest, three creep tokens, and a bro uh, and a block jam. Three tokens just from one chest. That's great. And now we go on to kill the undead. These guys are more tough. They are level 31. They're higher than my griffins, but still, that's not an issue. I'm still not at at the. I'm nearing my maximum, uh, at least my maximum capability at the moment. Um, but I do that every day, and and it seems that every day I can do one level extra uh, or two levels extra. That's great. If I can do one level extra every day, then um, it shows that, that I'm getting stronger, and that's proper. Uh, alternatively, if you're not getting stronger, let's say you didn't have too much time to play, that's not a problem also. So, you can still do the catacombs and, and regain all the experience and treasure chests all over again. So why not? Again, some people don't even know you can you can do it. Oh yeah, about um, restarting, when you do restart the, the catacombs, I will show you uh, when I, um, where it is, 4200 experience. Um, there's always the option to use a crypt key um, 
it's always ticked and it's enticing you to, to keep it ticked uh, by promising you more experience and that's great you will get more but the problem is that it's better to keep those keys uh, for for higher levels when you're doing really high um, catacombs uh, and then you'll get way more experience you can do them with, with kids and you can do even several people. so I'm definitely not using my keys I'm saving them up and I'm gonna use them on, on much higher at least that was the advice that I read in the forums and I think it's very smart so I'll do that so somewhere around here I should start taking control as I can see my griffins are over the uh, half their life so 22 so current level 22 um, I think 25 is my maximum so as I said three levels ahead roughly speaking um, uh, I'll take control so I will do that here we go so what I want to do now is um, build up my rage and keep it at 100. Um, I know I can use it, um, I know uh, that I can kill them faster, um, but it's okay to be a little bit less efficient, but to keep the rage at uh, 100 uh, for, the, for the more important fight. So griffins are still alive, that's fine, the next one might be a little bit of a... Uh, issue so the rewards are getting already uh, very high compared to, to, to my skills or my, my level um, so that's very good of course in the last couple of levels you get more reward than in the whole thing put together maybe so here 4600 experience now and on the left side it's very comfortable you can see um, that I, we have made like 55,000 experience in this one simple run and I'm only at level 24 so yeah you see it's very rewarding here we go these guys are tough Especially when they put these shields so For those who don't know, those blue things, shield looking like things that they put, that is basically uh, reducing the damage that they receive by 30%, which is very annoying. Because you want to kill them fast, but you can't. My rage is at 100, I'm keeping it there. Um, as a mage, you can keep casting uh, Rain of Fire for free when there are 4 enemies. So that's always cool. So it'll keep my rage. Ah, they kill the skerries before I could shoot the rain of fire. It's okay, it is okay also. So now 24, 60,000 experience. And now the mini boss, I, mini boss, I think. Yeah, this guy is tough. So here we have um, the items. You see, you see, I got a bunch of gems. And I got seven crypt tokens, which is pretty good. And now I'm gonna fight Kellon the Insane, which is an insane boss for this level. So here we go. Look, all I do now is uh, I smash him, and I heal my griffins. The and that's all. I don't want to use any special ability, nothing. But just when my griffins are hurt, he hits them. Now I'm gonna heal. Him. That's all. I'm gonna. They, my griffins are the ones who, who will be doing the killing, actually. So you keep them healthy. So as a mage, I found that strategy to work. Really well. And in the meantime, use the lightning to to reach out as much as possible. And the second the heal is ready, uh, yeah. Let's try to heal quicker. It's not going so fast. So he they almost uh, got his lives out. I hope the heal is uh, ready before my uh, griffin is dead. Because it really makes a difference if you have one or two griffins. 
There he goes. The heal is ready. Come on, come on. Uh, I'm gonna lose one, but he's already on the last life, so it's okay. And still, don't use the special. If you're a mage, just keep using that healing, because it goes much faster and safer that way. Four, three, two, one, and he took one out. I'll heal the other. And and now for sure he's gonna finish off that griffin. So now I'm not gonna heal him. I'm gonna quickly build up the rage uh, for my special. So here I can already see that um, I most likely won. Although he's coming after me now. And as a mage, yeah, that's not uh, cool. <laughs> so here I go with my special. That should make a good damage. Yeah, he's resistant, unfortunately. So you see, this guy is really fast. And so he just keeps on chopping at me. And I had 5000 life. And he's already got half of it. I'm taking him out, he's taking me out. I'm gonna use uh, healing. So last time also on a very low health I managed to, to kill him. You get 5000 experience for killing him. And the best of all you get a treasure chest. So another two crypt tokens. And, and a broken gem. And then you can proceed to the next one. And I think if I'm not wrong I die on this one or the next one. I'm gonna try kill this guy. Yeah I think I died too. These guys are also very fast. But I don't have time to kill them basically. They're cutting down the griffins really fast. Both are out and now they start chopping me down. And none of them is still down. Half life gone. I'll die anyway. I really dislike dying, but okay. It is what it is. So I know my limit. It's to kill the mini boss and die. Still, when, when we look at the summary, here, current level 26, total experience that I gained 65,000. Um, oops. I uh, pressed the wrong thing again. Well, I can't get up anymore. When, wait a second. Um, I want to show that I got nine crypt tokens and, and a bunch of gems. Um, oh, okay, he needs balance. Okay, cancel. Yeah, so I forfeit. Um, I guess once you come to a certain level, you forfeit. Okay. Um, received. Okay, that's fine. I still want to show you guys, um, so here are the catacombs, you see daily free attempts, 0 out of 1. So what you do is you take off the script key, that's if you agree with, with the thinking that I explained to you, uh, and keep those script keys for the higher levels when you are much higher, and just start. Now I can't because I, I just used in this video my, my daily attempt, but uh, I got um, more crypt keys and you see how much stuff there is in this shop lots of nice things which cost a lot but if you do it every day like this thing costs 100 um, it's for level 30 so I can already have it 100 and, and I have um, I have like 18 or something but if I keep on doing every day I can save up to get that really cool ring for example so that's the idea so thanks for watching I, I know it was a longer video but I hope it was useful for you and interesting to watch so um, thanks uh, click like if you like the video subscribe uh, or check out the videos I made thanks again